Hey guys, it's Kelsey and back with another scrapbooking process video, another layout for around the world in 30 days where we're scraplifting vacations and staycations. Before I get through to the process video, here's my baby squirrel that I had for a night. I wanted to show you guys, I was actually on Zoom during this process video with the Scraptacular Cropping Club. So I was kind of showing them the baby squirrel because he was sitting in my bra while I scrapbooked to stay warm. And so if I needed to, to um, adjust him or take him out, I didn't want them to be like, what are you doing down there? So I had him out in the beginning just to show them <laughs> to uh, the girls. And he's a very good boy while I scrapbooked. Um, but yeah, just I guess we're just doing animal cameos in the beginning of process videos now because it wasn't that long ago we had uh, Franklin. Um, but I just wanted to explain what the naked mole rat looking thing looks like in the beginning of the process video. But now that we're going, I really wanted to do another one of my favorite color combos, which is this burnt orange and the fresh light aqua. I really love mixing kind of a rich color with a softer pastel. It's one of my favorite ways to combine colors. And I feel like there's so many combos for this. I love the navy and blush. I love the mustard and that light lavender that you saw on the previous pages. So I'm really loving the different color combos you can make with this collection. <laughs> and I wanted to switch it up since the first two pages we had the uh, mustard and the purple. Now we're going in with the orange and the aqua. I really wanted to document this photo of Marcus. I love this photo. <laughs> this was when we were canoeing. This was, I think, day two. I think this, no, this was still day one. We rode horses in the morning and we canoed in the afternoon after biking and hiking. <laughs> we had a very active day at the Barnsley Gardens Resort, um, but I loved this picture of him. He's so handsome and I wanted to document it and I felt like these colors went really well for that. So I wanted to accentuate the scallop on the bottom of the orange solid um, because it's a solid and there's no pattern. I only wanted a, like a section of it running up the side, but I really like that contrast and that interest that that gives. Um, so I want to make sure I pull in pops of orange around the photo to tie that in. But I have most of that solid orange to use on future pages, <laughs> still trying to be frugal. Um, and now I have a strip of the aqua that I saved. Uh, from getting behind this orange piece, which was nice. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I want to use this orange branding strip, but um, it's kind of a much deeper orange than what I end up using, so I decide to not use that branding strip, but there is an orange polka dot tag in the die cut pack that I really do want to use. I thought about using this little orangey like notebook circle but what I end up doing is because so much of this tag is covered up by tucking into the top of the photo, I end up trimming off the bottom, probably two thirds of that tag and trimming that scrap into a banner to then come out of the left side of the photo. That way I have that, that color and that pattern kind of framing the photo and I really like that. So when I want layers, you guys know with Felicity Jane, if I don't want to cut into more paper, which I did not in this case, cause I'm still being frugal, I pull in a doily and a glassine bag. It's one of my favorite combos to add some texture and some layers from my stash into a collection that I'm trying to be <laughs> frugal with. So I'm trying to figure out how I want to use those layering elements. Um, I end up tucking them out of the left side of the photo instead of behind this tag like I was initially trying to do. And I like that a lot better. I really kind of want some minimal layers around this photo. I'm still trying to do this kind of clean, minimal aesthetic that I love to do with Felicity Jane products. So I'm just trying to find that balance with making it interesting enough um, to where it doesn't look too plain, but still having that really clean, uh, simplistic aesthetic that Felicity Jane products go so well with. Uh, you see me talking to ladies on Zoom if you see me <laughs> motioning with my hands. Um, but this is where I trim the bottom part of that tag and I'll trim that part into a banner. I love doing this with tags, especially when they are patterned or coordinated for a collection because you kind of get two different uh, elements out of one piece <laughs> by doing it like this. So I really like how this is looking for the base of my clusters. I do go through the embellishment to see if I want to use anything over here, but I think I only use this orange tag from the die cut set. Um, for my other layering pieces, I end up, actually I do use this little aqua scallop from the intro info card. 
I'm glad I got that used up too. <laughs> but um, as far as extra layers, I go through some of my Felicity Jane leftover pocket cards that have come from other collections and kind of picked out whatever coordinated with this Reese collection. And there are a couple elements that had gray on them. And I really felt like with Marcus's gray sleeves, the gray really was a nice addition to this orange and this aqua. So I end up pulling in gray as another color. So I trimmed this one uh, gray and white leopard print pocket card and you can see how I'm trying to stretch that behind the photo to make it look like a longer piece. Um, but I still want all these layers to kind of be tight against the photo. I don't want too many of these layers to take up too much space because I really like how open this page looks with the aqua background. So I like the subtle layer with that uh, leopard print pocket card, but I do want another gray element to kind of tie it all together. So I do have a gray house that's on a po another pocket card that I'll end up pulling in. But while I was going through my other collection stash, I have the willow puffy shapes, which I've had forever. And I've tried so many times to get these onto other Felicity Jane layouts, but for whatever reason, I think the Willow collection is more of a vintagey looking collection than any other Felicity Jane collection. So I end up not using them when I try to mush them with other collections. But on this page, it worked. There's this orange bow. There's this orange banner that says adventure. There's this aqua camera with some orange flowers on it and this little orange just dot. And I really felt like scattering these different puffy elements around the page was a really sweet embellishment. Um, I had, uh, I'm I kind of trying to save my die cuts because uh, I'm really trying to make them stretch throughout the month. So I'm trying not to use too many of them in one go since we're still in the beginning of the month. This is only page three so far. So I'm really pulling from these other collections to beef out my embellishments. And I'm so happy I'm able to use a lot of these Felicity Jane things that have been in my stash for a while. I love, love, love mixing and matching Felicity, Felicity Jane products. So this page especially <laughs> made me happy because I had pocket cards, I think from like the Kristen collection, um, the puffy stickers from the Willow collection, and then of course, the paper um, from Reese. So very, very happy. Here you can see me just gutting what I can from the aqua <laughs> so I can use that on another page and piecing together uh, my 12 by 12. Um, and after I get all of this stuck down, <laughs> I will need finishing touches. I did get stuck on this page. I ended up having to talk to the girls on Zoom to kind of figure out, uh, cause I thought I was done with this page and I was like, it is still way too plain. So you'll see once I stick down all of these layers, I do go in with some of the chipboard hearts from the Reese collection. I use the orange and the aqua hearts in all three embellishment clusters, but it's still looking too plain and I really struggle because I didn't wanna add something that was going to distract from the minimal style I was going for, but I still felt like I needed something else. Um, so I toyed around with a couple ideas, but you'll see what I end up going with is a very tried and true <laughs> method for me to finish out Felicity Jane pages when I feel like it's too plain. So you'll see that in a bit, but I did want to do my title in gray since I've added some of these other gray elements. I did not have an N, so I did have to trim a W into an N, and then I didn't have any A's, so I used an upside down V. But I'm just having my title be canoe, since we're canoeing. <laughs> um, I really like how it looks left justified here on, on the left side of the page. But by the end of the layout, I kind of wonder if I want to center this title down the middle of this orange strip. I think I might do that. I kind of want your guys' opinion on the title at the end of the page because um, I do like how it looks left justified, but it almost looks like there's awkward spacing by the end of the page, and I don't really want to add another thing onto this side by the end, but I do think if I centered this title down that orange strip, it would look better. So I'm still kind of toying with that idea. <laughs> <laughs> and enough of you to say you would think it looks better centered. I might um, fix that. <laughs> you might see that corrected uh, at the end of the month when I do the layout share. But this is that other pocket card that had a gray house on it. I really wanted to add some gray into the cluster with the tag. Um, so I think that adds a lot of balance, especially now that I have this gray title on the left side of the page. But this is where I'm going in with the chipboard hearts. I'm just adding a couple orange hearts to the gray house and a couple aqua hearts down over the orange tag. 
and then I add an orange heart over the orange bow in the banner of the left upper left hand corner. So I thought this was my finishing touch and this is where I was like, I can't say that I feel like this is done yet. So I ended up leaving it for a couple days and coming back later. And once I sat back down, I was like, oh my gosh, you're being silly. Like, you know, Felicity Jane, you want to stitch. Um, hand stitching hurts my hands, but I cannot help it. When I have a Felicity Jane collection, I always feel like there's that one page where I really want to do hand stitching on. So I pulled in my mom's bag of a uh, Ziploc baggie of different embroidery flosses and there were three different grays in there and I really love this darker charcoal gray um, that's number 413 if you keep track of the embroidery floss numbers that's the, the charcoal gray that I'm using and I just decided to do different stitched elements as my finishing touch and I really feel like that helps ground the page it adds a darker element that kind of pulls it all together it accents the gray elements um, and adds extra detail without making the page seem too busy, which was what I was going for. So I did just do a straight stitch down the um, side of the orange scallop, and then I mimicked that by doing a, small, a shorter line of straight stitches to the right side of the page next to that gray house. I kind of skipped some of this section, otherwise you'd be watching me stitch forever. I think the hand stitching <laughs> took me longer than putting together the rest of the page. Um, but I just did two lines of stitches, and then I wanted uh, some gray in towards the middle of the page to kind of connect it all of some kind of shape. Um, so I did pull in um, Ronnie's Amy Tangerine stitching kit. <laughs> I love these little stencils. Whenever I use them, I feel like they just make the page. And um, there were little plus sign uh, stitching stencils that I ended up adding <laughs> to the corner of the photo. And I think it was just like the perfect little finishing touch. I love it so much. So this little plus sign here, I'm just going to stitch two little plus signs on that corner. And I love it so much. I think that made all the difference on this page, just doing a little bit of the hand stitching. Um, so I'll cut through most of this footage of me uh, stitching these but I just wanted you to kind of see as much of the process as possible without getting too bored um, but I just loved I loved how this turned out so now I don't know if I'll be stitching on more layouts this month or not but I really feel like this is what this page needed um, <laughs> it's so cute and then I do also have a video at the end of this process video of us on the lake like I said in the last couple process videos this month, I really am trying to include little snippets of video that I took while we were doing all these different adventure things at Barnsley Gardens. So um, I have that so you can see how beautiful this place is. <laughs> so hopefully you'll enjoy that. But I'm almost done with this stitching and then that's pretty much it. I kind of feel like it's self-explanatory. I don't feel like I really need to do journaling. I have the title that's canoe so let me know if you feel like I should center center that title down the middle of that orange strip I'm thinking that would look better but I need some people to back me up on that <laughs> before I make that change so just tying off this thread and then you'll see the close-ups and then I will have our little video of the beautiful lake we were canoeing on but make sure you check out everyone else who's playing around off around the world in 30 days it's a month long <laughs> scrapbooking hop where we're documenting vacations and staycations so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one <laughs> bye